She's been beaten up bad. She won't have an ambulance. Okay, then, sir. Thank you. Hello, love. What happened? Come on, on your way. Come on. Let's go inside. Come on. Where's your husband? He's separated. We've been separated two years. What, and you live with somebody else, do you? <laughs> no, no. It's my husband. My husband done this. He's going to kill me. Where is your husband at this moment in time? He's got a bite chain and he's going to kill me. Is your husband indoors? I want him arrested. Is he indoors? Yeah. Right. Well, we can arrest your husband. I want him arrested. And charge him with actual bodily harm. But you will need to make a statement later, all right? And I should warn you, but should your husband decide to plead not guilty, you will have to go to court, OK? Right. And you say your husband has some kind of a weapon? Chain of his motorbike. What's your name, love? Uh, Joanna Mancini. Mancini. Mr. Mancini! It's the police, Mr. Mancini, if you'd like to open the door, please. I want my glasses. What's up to you, love? Dear, you be been mad. Excuse me, do you know this lady? No, she can I'm a neighbour. Tell her to get lost. Well, Olivia, she can't tell me what to do. Still, I think it would be best, yes? She's always having trouble with her husband. But I think she's a martyr. I wouldn't put up with him. Get lost! It's the man Sadie! He's one of those men. I don't know how old he is. You think he'll make a really nice man when he grows up. Mind you, she's up for it. Yeah, right. She don't look after them kids. Tell her to mind her own business. Why don't you sling it off back to South London where you came from? At least my kids are English. We can hear every word, you know. You're a bloody disgrace. An old man who gives you a black eye and that. I'll give you a black eye and that. Go on, then. Ladies. I would if I weren't pregnant. Ladies! Come on, give us a hand. She started it. For God's sake, belt up. Yeah, put the sock in it. I was only trying to help. Open the door, Mr Mancini. It's the police. Look. Are you sure you wouldn't like to go to the hospital? He's just sitting in there and he's picking his nose and I want him out. I don't need windows open around the back. Mr Mancini, open the door. You're not doing yourself any favours. I don't know. I'll go round the back. He's a maniac, right? I want him locked up. We can break a window if you want. Well, my boys will be coming back in a minute. Well, where have they gone? Well, they've gone out. Let me in! Where's Wade? Where's he gone to? Wayne! Do you want me to go and look for him? No. She done it! She done 
to break in and stop him. Right. It's the Mancini I'm going to break in. Wait. Careful. Mr Mancini. Coming up, Mr. Mancini. Do you reckon he's still got that pipe chain? Where is he? Stay there, Mrs. Mancini. Antonio! Look, just leave this to us. Okay, come out quietly, Mr. Mancini. You're not helping yourself, you know. He must have climbed out. Awesome. Gotta go and check he's not outside. No, don't leave me. Don't leave me. Look, you don't understand. He's gonna kill me. You see, you don't know him. You can put a cup of tea on. We'll only be out in the road. Oh, just lock the door behind us. Later on, we're going to have to take you down to the station. Now, are you sure you don't want to get to the hospital first? I ain't leaving here. Fine. Look, see if you can see Wayne. Nah, he's legged it. So what are we going to do? Well, we'll give her a cup of tea first. Calm her down. Oh, I hate men who do that. Come on. It's their relationship. She's going to come out of it the worst. Yeah? But there's nothing that we can do about it. Tell you, if Mary Whitehouse came down here, she'd see the biggest danger from television violence with people lobbing them out the window. <laughs> Who is it? It's all right, Mrs. Mancini. Sally, ask the police. Oh, no. Don't worry, we'll get him. But what are you going to do? Come on. Where's that cup of tea, eh? Mancini, I'm afraid we're going to... for that team. So? So, so, so? So what? My dad told me not to talk to policemen. He's not a lawyer, is he? No. So then, what's starting all of this? To get your anniversary? No, oh, I don't know. It's like he's plugged into 240 volts the whole time. Oh, I can't live with him anymore. So where do you reckon he's gone? 
He's got his own place, you know, a room in Barking. I like your voice, you know, it's dead sexy. I've had a cold. Yeah, I reckon you've got a couple of hours to make a killing. <laughs> Wayne! Where's he got? Do I need a flag? Wayne! So, I'm going to tell her all war. Yeah. You didn't see what the score was, did you? Yeah, I think you did. I've no. Oh, God. I'm just going to go and take a look, all right? He's going to kill me. He will. I didn't mean to do it, you know. Oh, God. I don't even know if I should stay here. Can I have police protection? Not Mrs Mancini. You're going to have to come with us down to the station. We're going to have to charge you with criminal damage. What's that mean? The intentional damaging of property. Why? You drove the car into the wall. Yeah, but he smashed my face, he smashed my sewing machine and portable TV. Yes, but it's the wall that we're concerned with. So why don't you like Spurs then? I do. Why'd you call them a bunch of hairdressers? Because they are. Who's winning? Spurs must be. Who are they playing? Arsenal. Oh, I see Arsenal. So why aren't Arsenal a bunch of hairdressers? Because. Because what? Knock knock. Who's there? Wayne. Wayne who? Wayne, you mind your own business. But you can't get the black one in. If you miss this one, you're not a man. Mrs. Mancini is worried about her husband returning before she gets back. So I told him we'll come back with her, make sure he's not here. Yeah, and what about when you've gone? I want personal protection. Look, I'm afraid there's nothing like that available. I don't believe you're arresting me, you're not arresting him. No. Look, the worst thing is now, but should you give evidence against your husband for ABH, for actual bodily harm, the likelihood is he's going to press charges against you for criminal damage, for damage to his car. Mum, shut up, you can't you see I'm busy? You shut up. A sort of tit for tat. Where's your coat? Upstairs. What, in your bedroom? He's going to go out. You don't know him. Look at my face. Look, just take some money just in case, eh? As I said before, when you get back, you don't answer the door to anyone. And if you're not sure who it is, you just don't mind, no, no. But my window, you smashed the window. We'll get something done about that. Oh, you better. And what about my boys? Mancini? Yeah? Have these fingerprints always been on your loft hatch? How'd you get up there? The ladder. Well, where's the ladder? Yeah. Oh, my God. Right, Mr Mancini. I'm coming up. I'm not going to hurt you, we're just going to talk, OK? Standing on it. Let me up, Mr Mancini. You're being really silly, you know. Oh. OK, Mr Mancini. I'm going to go and get your circular saw and you're going to force me to cut my way in. Stay here.
He's not missing, Mr. Mancini. Do you want us to get your husband? He's standing on the hatch and he won't come down. What's he say? He won't even talk to us. He's mad. I want him out. What do you reckon if I use a circular saw? I don't get him anymore, Rada. I tell you, he's mad. He's got that chain, you know. Yeah, I know. Look, he'll kill you. He's not afraid to. Oh, my God. He's going to get angry. He's going to get so angry. Well, do you want us to leave him up there? No. Right. Go back inside. Perhaps we should leave him, eh? Well, we can't sit here all day. Yeah, but I'm scared. Don't be. Just go back inside, yeah? You just don't know him. Malcolm, see where the PowerPoint is. Silly cow. Well, it's not her fault. Oh, come on, I can't feel sorry for her. I've seen it too often. Put yourself in her shoes. How does this work? Have you switched it on? <laughs> now, nah, whatever, this bloke needs a right good ticket, I'll tell you. Right, Mr. Mancini, I'm coming up. Do you understand? Bingo. Here's that torch. Mr. Mancini. Mancini! Look! You pig! Stop hiding up there! Come on. I'm gonna get me a knife. And if he comes near me, I'm gonna kill him! Just stay in there. What? Look. Who's gonna do this? Because I don't fancy it, right? Not sticking my head up there. The bloke's still probably got a chain, yeah? I mean, you could stick your head up there and... Well, we ain't gonna talk him down. And I don't want to still be here tonight. So? Well, I don't fancy it neither. I just wish you'd say something. <laughs> we should get Cryer down here and send him up there with a cup of tea. Oh, you reckon? Get Cryer? I wouldn't give him the satisfaction. Well, what do you want to do? Go home. Nah, I'm going to have this bloke. Right, Mr Mancini. I'm not going to hurt you, so don't do anything nasty. I'm just going to come up for a little chat. It'll be best if we can keep calm and then we'll be able to sort things out. Mancini. Where are you, Mr. Mancini? Mr. Mancini? He's not up here. He's got to be. He's not. He's not up here. Then where the hell is he? Well, I don't know. You better go and check Mrs. Mancini downstairs. I'm coming down.
You touch my wife and I'll leave you! Stay there. Ah! You bitch! What have you done to my husband? Well, you got this sorted yet? Yeah? What are you doing? She's only a woman. That's what I thought. Look what she's done to my sleeve. Why are you scared away? Who are you? You arrest her. Well, come on then! Hang on, hang on, I just want to see this. It's a free kick for the face. Don't muck around. You want, you want to what? Oh, I wasted it. Come on. It's a corner. Just keep watching her. What's the score? Put it down, Mrs. Mancini. Antonio! The amount of times you've done that this season. What they done to you? Now where you going? Give your curlies on now. Nice one. Put a fork down, Wayne. No. Just give me that. I'm arresting you, Mrs. Mancini. For assaulting a police officer with intent to resist arrest. I'm not obliged to say anything unless you wish to, but anything you do say will be taken down in writing and may be given in evidence. Do you have anything to say? She all right? You two better get yourselves sorted out. Call an ambulance, will you? I think my waters are going to break. No, no, I'm serious. You know what, Mrs. Mancini? You're sad. No, I'm serious. Look at yourself. Do you like him doing that, do you? Oh, what do you know? You ain't never seen us together. He can't see you, but he's nearly as special as he thinks he is. Oh. What? You think I'm a liar? No. I think you're a fool. Come on. Who's that? Probably my friend, Mr. Cryer. Yeah. What are you doing with my mum? 